Like, look at this guy. Yikes! Off to see Toadette. I hid the key so the monsters wouldn't get in, but... Perhaps I should have hid it inside the house. Yeah. Novel idea right there. Anyway, since you're here... Feel free to go ahead and pick a box! Its contents will help you on your way! Not the big treasure boxes, mind you. That's all my personal stuff. You can take what's in the question mark boxes, though. Glad you allowed me to, because I already did. Toadette just walks in and steals your stuff. Bad Toadette. <laughs> and that shell is still... At least there's not a Koopa in it, or I'd feel bad. Okay. Another Koopa saved by our valiant efforts. The first level here is a lot of, you know, tutorials and stuff, and I probably shouldn't even be reading this, but I'm sort of refreshing my own memory. And we got the Sumo Brothers hammer. <laughs> and I'm also trying to figure out, you know, how do you commentary. Because I'm still getting used to it, honestly. I've done some streams for my friends, but nothing really major. You jump really high in this game. And you can't tell these things. Of course, this is... And we have a cleft. A bald cleft. We're gonna chuck at these guys. And completely miss. Oh well, you live for now. Toadsville, the mushroom village with some Paper Mario file select music. I would feel really, really terrible if I did not know that that was the Paper Mario file select music. Paper Mario 64 to be exact. A lot of this music in this game is remixed Mario music. So, <laughs> that's a thing that it is. <laughs> and it's all really good remix too. This guy is basically just gonna tell you this door in front of us is a warp zone. If we go in here, we can go to any area we've already traveled to and a couple of others, which I will get into later. And we have angry eyeballs, apparently. I don't know why he's there. I, I, I know that we just found out his name. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna <laughs> bother trying to remember it. Because <laughs> it was something long. Now, the people in this game have some a really amazing dialogue. But I don't want to waste all your guys' time by talking to everybody like I did earlier. So, instead, I'm just going to go around and refresh my memory on what these guys say. I mean, I'm gonna do this in every town. And find the gems for you guys. Uh, so, BRB! Okay, there's this dude, first of all. I'm protecting my house from the monsters! Fion scourge from below! Admit it, that sounded totally cool. I bet you want me now, huh, baby cakes? <laughs> sure. Like, dude, not cool! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I thought that said boyfriend. Restart, restart. Like, dude, not cool. Stupid sleeping curse. Got my girlfriend just now. This is a bogus, man. Worst date ever. That still sounded like a valley girl. We don't need anyone playing hero. That forbidden fortress is too dangerous for the average citizen. Besides, we are the Toadsville Guard are working hard to get everyone out. Then why are we standing here, you ask? Well, um, to inform you that our comrades are working hard to get everyone out. Which they totally are. I think. <laughs> See, this game has got the self-aware humor. Like Paper Mario. And I would highly suggest you play it. There's gonna be a link in the description and get all of these wonderful, wonderful quotes. A lot of it was just tutorials, talking about Yoshi platforms and other things that I'm going to be getting into when we actually get through the level. All right, since we've done quite enough wandering around for one day, why don't we, like, let this go a little longer um, and get to our first level, which I completely passed. Uh, Yoshi's Training Trail... Was this the first one? 
Uh, you can complete these in any order, but I had an order I went in, but I'm gonna go with Yoshi's Training Trail. Which has us immediately running into Goombas. <laughs> now, I've been playing Toad Strikes Back to kind of get used to the mechanics of this game. Um, just sort of get better at it again. Here we have note blocks that don't make the boing sound. Why don't they make the boing song <laughs> sound? But I've noticed that the jump physics in Toad Strikes Back are a lot more wonky than they are in this game, and I appreciate that this was improved. I mean, then again, the other, the Toad Strikes Back was in 2007, so this is like seven years later, so this is a little bit better, understandably. All right, you ninjas, you're gonna get ninjed by my feet. And we're gonna drop down into some coins, and what are you talking about? Not only the Yoshi seem to be falling asleep. Instead, the Koopas are trapping them in eggs, which are turners trapped in boxes. Yoshis are powerful allies to us toads. The Koopas must really fear them. All right. Well, we got the thing that isn't from Super Mario Brothers 2. Yoshi! I, why do I do that in the toad voice? Yoshi can use your attack key to pick up things and throw them, and I missed something, didn't I? As eggs! And I think we've got another bit of self-aware humor here, if I am thinking of the right toad over here. Nowadays, Yoshis are being trained to uproot veggies with their tongues. Man, to think there was a time where you had to dismount and do it yourself. <laughs> okay, not what I was thinking of, but... Yeah, what they're basically saying, push down. And you can... I needed those. <laughs> Great job, Lore, as usual. And, as in Super Mario World, Yoshi can jump on piranha plants. And, is this gonna be a one-up? That's gonna be a cherry. Okay. I can live with this. Like any other way, uh, we just found this out. Uh, let's get the egg over here. The block egg. You know, I can actually go... Oh, no. Yoshi eats something if he has it in his mouth for long enough. <laughs> so... Also got the traditional flutter kick. Is it weird that I actually kind of... I already talked to you. That I actually kind of prefer sound effects in, like, Super Mario World 2? Uh, if you want to be a Yoshi riding, you gotta know... Yeah, alright. Basically saying what I was just saying. Goomba! Uh, I could have used that. But, yes, as in Super <laughs> What was I even saying? I keep getting distracted. Okay, um... Visible block? Yes! And a 1-up. That's great. Haven't lost one yet. It's only the first level. I should hope not. Uh, about the Yoshi's Island sound effects. I feel like I'm weird because I'm, like, the only one... I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm the only one I've heard of who likes the... Uh, Yoshi's Island sound effects better than the later Yoshi voice. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of weird like this. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. I'm just gonna sit alone in my corner. Now can you get in there? Like I, I, there's, there's a lot of wandering going around around. Going around around here. This background actually does look like make eggs throw eggs, but like redone. A lot of this has other elements redone. Okay. No Yoshis are permitted past this point. Please dismount with button three default spacebar. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't know why Yoshis are not allowed there, but apparently they aren't. So, heart! You got a hundred star points and star coins and star points, and like, we don't level up like we do in Paper Mario. Because this isn't a Paper Mario game. But, uh, still star points. And here we have the bane of everybody who's played uh, Super Mario World Rob Hacks Existence Munchers. Which we're going to get away from very, very fast. I forgot I had the Fire Flower. Did that... That took away my... All oh, right, you use Yoshi platforms. The Yoshis always come back to the Yoshi platforms, and this guy will probably tell me the same thing. Yeah. 
don't remember it being that funny. Somehow Yoshi can climb things. I mean, it's a step up from Super Mario World. And speaking of Super Mario World, anybody remember this? Some good old Super Mario World. Oh, this guy had something funny. Okay, I get how Yoshi can stomp on spiked enemies. But this, on the other hand, not that I'm complaining, but yeah. Me too, Toad. Me too. I've, I've actually always wondered myself why he can stand on the munchers. They're granted, I'm not complaining. And we know what these do. Blue Yoshi. And cool music. I don't know entirely where this is from. Silver metal. And we've got our infinite flying Yoshi. I was afraid I was going to run into things there. Uh, there was a guy in Toad Town who was, who was actually telling us about those. And mushroom metal. That was actually a thing we needed. Uh, I like... Uh, basically, mushroom metals are like the star coins of Toadette Strikes. And that is basically the end goal tape of Toadette Strikes. Um, I'll, I'll just hit the switch and then talk about mushroom metals. I'm not going to be going for 100%. Oh, well, actually. Yes, those toads... Toads, silver medals we got can be used to play the slots a la Super Mario Brothers 2. <laughs> and epically fail at that. Great job. So basically you'll have one dot over the thing, <laughs> the door thing, when you flin it, fin finish a level, and another when you get the mushroom metal. I'm not going for 100% like in my run throughs because this wandering around has probably been painful enough and I have a bit of trouble finding the metals. But if I can find them, like afterwards, after my recording session's over, or not, if I'm on camera and I find them, then I will definitely show where they are. I'm just going more for completion's sake than 100%, but the metals I recently found out do have a use, so. I will be trying to get as many of those as I can in order to be able to show off things. <sighs> but for now, we have been going for a very long time. We completed two normal levels technically, did a ton of wandering around, a ton of tutorials. Next episode will be more interesting, I promise, but that is about enough adventuring for today, I think. Next time, we're going to be moving on to... if I can find the next level... Flip Flop Rock. Or maybe some other level. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. Until then, this is Paper Lore Plays, signing off. See you around.